lives get changed and, 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 and companies get changed and school districts get changed and neighborhoods get changed um, when people change. Suicides are at a number that nobody would have guessed could possibly be attained just 15 years ago. So what do you do? Well, the answer is something. Right? And I believe that this message, the Sweethearts and Hero message, is the beginning of the solution. They are teaching these kids to take care of each other, to love one another. I hate fighting. I don't go in there with any kind of violent mindset. I go in there with a very aggressive mindset, but not a violent one. It's a sport that I've trained for 20 years to participate in. I, I was born and raised in Philadelphia, and my parents uh, had a mission home. I used to take people off the streets of Philadelphia. The empathy that I saw my parents display for people uh, boggles my mind. When a kid brings a knife to school, the reaction is, expel him. My thought was, okay, what's he telling us? Originally gotten into physical education was to try and turn boys into men and men into champions, and I started to realize there was a greater purpose. In the most social and emotional setting in a building, I figured out ways to get kids to be nice to other kids. So September 1st, 2006, um, rolling down a road in Iraq in my Bradley. The explosion went through the bottom of the vehicle up into the turret where I was sitting. I can see that I don't look like the person I did when I left for the war. They weren't only staring at me, they were terrified of me. I wouldn't change it. And I wouldn't change it because I wouldn't be here. Having a different type of effect on people's lives. I used to look at Rick as an American hero for what he did for our country. I look at Rick as an American hero because he's given more hope to more kids than anyone else I've ever met. Say the bullies, the mean people, the disrespectful people, they're not the problem. Bullies have been around since the beginning of time, so if we put our energy there and try and change that, it's not going away. We know that 85% of bullying happens in front of other people, yet 96% of the time, that behavior has gotten away with. Hey, what did I tell you about wearing your jacket in school? I said, the next time you wear that jacket, hey, 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 what are you doing, bro? Vulnerability is a willingness to show up and maybe potentially fall flat on your face. It takes courage to help and hold someone's hand that's different than you are. And isn't that what it takes to be a superhero? Hey! The definition of a, of a sweetheart is a carrier of hope. Would you help that kid that's different? Would you help that kid whose parents are different, whose skin is different? We tell kids how to get kids out of situations who are being bullied. The way we define hero is someone that's willing to do things other people aren't willing to do. When you see that kid on fire, socially, psychologically, emotionally, that invisible kid, you'll know what to do. What do superheroes have? They have super... <laughs> They have superpowers, so I want to give you all some superpowers. It's about being mindful and paying attention. But truly, you're the ones that are going to fix it. It's in your hands, not mine. Today, we have more 10 to 14-year-olds taking their own life than at ever before in human history. It comes down to one word. Hopeless. There's times in our life, though, that we can't get hope back by ourselves. I believe in what they're doing and I believe in change and I believe in the love that they are placing back in these schools. It takes a tremendous amount of courage to jump into action. It's really simple, it's action-based and it's life-saving. I think that they want to be empowered to do the right thing. They don't always know how to do that. Imagine what you could be capable of at your age and with your knowledge. Their message, the way that it was presented is just so incredibly powerful.
no matter who they are, no matter what they've gone through, we want to let them know that they can change and save lives.